hello guys you are welcome to my page my name is mommy g come closer let us do this simple gele head wrap together this one that is displayed on the screen that is what i am talking about so the material i'm using is asoke it's written on the screen it's three layers joined together so the measurement i will use is 50 50 i will also display it on the screen so watch very well when i wanted when um, I wanted to start, I folded some inches inside. Then after that, I would take my little pleat. So your pleat should be determined by the size of your material. My material is three layers. That is why I'm taking few lines of pleat at the front to make it beautiful. So watch my hand as I take the last pleat. Dragging material from the center, then dragging it to the front, then adjust by the side. What I'm doing is adjustment to make it look smooth and straight so if you are doing yours please if your material is four layers your pleat should be bigger than mine if your material is five layers your pleat should be bigger than mine if yours is two layers your pleat don't take any pleat at all so at the back i will cross it at the back don't mind that back hole. I will come back to that very place. So for now, let us work with the front. So if you want to take something like this up, you check the side that is closer to your ear. Open it up wide. So I am taking the two edges that are closer to my ear. Then taking the two edges, I will tie it at the front only once. Knot it at the front only once. Then make it straight and make it tight. So if you check very, very well, just to watch. So after knotting it at the front, that side of the material that is down, that is one I will work with. So watch very well. I will, I will spread it wide, then start folding from the tips, then take it to the up. Watch my hand. Just focus your attention. You are going to get it, even as I'm explaining. Then I will hold it there. The material that is left at the back, after the knotting, I will drag it to that front, use it and cross that one I'm holding. Then raise it up and use it pass through under it. Hope you understand my, explan my explanation now. So I use it to pass through, raise it up, pass the material beneath this place I was holding. Then the little leftover, I'm going to pin it there. But note, if your material, if the leftover is very big, don't pin it at this at this very place i'm pinning mine all you need to do is to drag it to this back center back then you pin it there but my own i have to pin it there because even after pinning it you won't notice it it's very very short so after that i'm going to make sure that the bowl is set small before i will start working with the leftover materials by the sides so watch what I'm doing. I will just fold them into two. I did not pleat here. It's just fold the normal fold, and I fold it into two. Then tuck every other one behind this very one I'm working with. So that edge that is left, look at it. I have to back you to dress the back very well. Then after that, I will use my office pin to pin it. Though I will still come back and work on the back. But before that, let's go to the front and continue with what we were doing. So I will fold in and tuck it the remaining part at the back behind this very one. In case you miss the first one, watch what I'm doing to the second one. I will fold again. Then start tucking the leftover at the back. So that is all about this tide. So this place, I'm going to drag the two, the two materials, watch my hand and pin it so that it won't be separate the way it was from the beginning. <laughs> Hope you are getting it. So don't forget to close the back. If you are doing yours, don't just finish, then you hurry up and leave. So this first edge that I just folded, I will drag it down and pin it there. I will drag it down and pin it there. 
So if you miss this very one, make sure you don't miss the second one. This is the second edge. I will still drag that one down again and pin it. I did not hang it up. I dragged it down. Though I don't want that front to be like that, I will still come back and work on that place. But before then, let me just start dressing the sides very well so that it will look smooth and nice. That is what I'm doing now. No pleating at the upper at all. It's only the down I pleated. Then the bow. Is it, the, is it bow tie? It doesn't look like bow tie like that too. But it's just something I folded there. Whatever you want to call it. Just call it. Just give it any name you want to give it. So, that back, I'm not settled with it. This this very place i'm touching i'm not settled with it so i'm going to drag it very down i want it to be low if it's low the bow will show very well so that is what i'm trying to do here i will make it down i'm not yet satisfied but let me turn around first so that you see the back so the back is set it's remaining this front that is giving me headache this front that is at the back of that bow I want to drag it down so that the bow will show very, very well. But let me use this opportunity to thank those that have been sharing my video. May the good Lord bless you and keep you so that you continue sharing for me. <laughs> and for those people that refuse to follow my page after watching my videos, I'm begging you, my knees are on the ground. Please follow my page, follow my channel if you're on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my future posts. It's not good though. You just come watch. After watching, you go. No, now. Just click on the subscription button and subscribe to my channel. If you're on YouTube, click on the follow button and follow my page for more tutorials on Gele Head Wrap. So I am done bringing it down. If you check very well, is the bow not showing you where now? Is it not showing you? That is why I wanted that place to be down. So please, I need your comment in the comment section. If you are watched to this extent, that means you love what we are doing. Please, I'm begging you, drop a beautiful comment for me in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video. Please like this video. I also love other videos. Like other videos that you come across. Especially the video that belongs to Mommy G. If you come across any of my videos, please like, like, like and comment and share. I am begging you. As we are sharing, my God will continue to bless you in Jesus' mighty name. So I am just, I'm done with the gele. I'm done with it. See the bow showing. The gele is set. The person wearing it is set. Don't say, I never even bathed this morning. I never bathed before doing this. I better see you in my next video. Bye. Love you.